Hey, my beautiful, powerful, sexy ass Scorpios. Welcome, Scorpio Intuition. If it's your first time on my channel, like and subscribe, hit that notification button if anything resonates. And if it's not your first time on my channel, hey, family, welcome back. I miss y'all, sexy ass. How you doing? <laughs> okay, so let's get into this energy. Most high, thank you for my beautiful, powerful collective. I actually, right now, to protect every Scorpio's mind, body, and, and just creativity. Victory is our portion. We walk in and we receive it. It is so, mm, spirit. So, what's the energy surrounding my Scorpios today? What is the energy surrounding Scorpio today? Messages of love and light. Messages of love and light. This one's calling me. We have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So, spirit is saying there could be a situation that's coming in where it's going. Uh, spirit is going is asking you to really. Uh, Pull back your energy and listen. It's a it's an energy of listening to somebody's point of view, even though you may go in uh, feeling like you're not going to really uh, agree with it or receive it. Spirit is saying with this empathy, uh, just looking at both sides, taking the time to actually listen to understand and not listen to respond. So that's a situation that could be about to come uh, towards a Scorpio. Messages of love and light. Okay, then we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So, this situation is probably going to, uh, could be with some a friend trying to come back into your life uh, after some times or some difficulties. And, uh, and Spirit says when they do give hear them out, also you could discern uh, how they feel from your mindset. Your intuition is on a very, very high plateau, Scorpio, especially those who have been tuning in, uh, actually listening to yourself. Um, so with this, I feel like there's, there's a situation with a friend that could be uh, on the rise and that, that they're really going to want you to, uh, just take the time and, and listen to what's going on. Not just that, but accept what, what is, you know, it, it, it's a, it's an energy of really, I don't know, like understanding where a particular, uh, relationship is accepted for what it is and still, uh, have some type of movement either to move on or to move forward. Now, the first thing I see is this blame. So, Hmm. I accept responsibilities for my well-being. So right now I feel like this is the spirit is saying this is the time, like whatever this Whatever this situation was, you know, accept your own part, your own part in it, and you know, let it go because this loneliness. Somebody feels. I feel like somebody about to come in and talk about something how they feel lonely since they have not been around you. I know that I am never alone. And also, Spirit says, for for you guys, there's a lot of Scorpios who are us uh, like one deep. You know, Spirit is saying there is there is something coming in uh there's something coming in for you and also please realize that we, we have a lot of spiritual uh help you know and and uh you, all you have to do is just call on that help and it will be there i'll be there i'll be there just call my name okay so anyway have a little moment, y'all. You jumping in, you jumping out. Okay. So now we have guilt. I release any belief that no longer assists in my soul's growth. So with this friendship, Spirit is saying that either this is going to be a situation where you're either going to come back together and, and, and going to start a whole new sleigh, or this is going to be a situation where, it, you know, you, you both understand, like, it, it's okay to grow apart. It's one of them, but the, the the main thing in it was just make sure that you listen to both sides. And Spirit says it's time to just be honest, you know, honest with with every uh, position role that was played, and just be honest in the whole situation. Ain't no ain't no uh, point of blaming because you know in every situation it both people had their part. One if one wasn't setting up healthy boundaries, I mean they were really allowing some activities to continually go on because either you know at that time they wasn't strong enough to move forward or one that's knowingly trying to manipulate somebody continually um, uh, pushing back their boundaries because they are not able to uphold that. With that being said, 
Yeah, Scorpio. So it looks like some friends, uh, you about to, it's a conversation on the rise. Let me break this down just a little bit. Spirit, what is empathy? Messages of the life for empathy for my beautiful Scorpios. Yeah, this is somebody that was uh, in hermit mode, somebody that pulled back their energy because they were trying to see on how they're going to come to you because of uh, whatever may have taken place. And with the friendship, um, uh, Scorpio, this is you, the Empress. So right now, there, this person wants a friendship with you. And let me just say, these are two major arcana cards that already came out, the Hermit and the Empress. So Spirit is saying that, it, and it's like, since you've been pulled, since you've pulled your energy away from a particular person, that they've went in they haven't been talking to nobody and they've been trying to get me wisdom they've been even praying asking their their spirit guides for help on how to come back in towards your scorpio at this time and when it's and with this blame we have the the eight of wands and the five of cups so this is like there's some uh so it, it's like something happened really quick i feel like there's about to be a lot of communication or somebody is about to come in quick and and like the it's like they regret something that happened and they want to come in real quick to try to express that and it's like i don't know this person knows that they they should be blamed for it's like an energy like they blame themselves for a lot of things that's going on which you know clearly they should but they're in regret but now there it's this rushing spirit they feel like they have to rush towards you, Scorpio, at this time. Spirit loneliness. Yeah, this person has been by yourself. This person is feeling really lonely when it's coming to you. The reason why is because we have the four ones and the, and the ace. There's some type of clarity, some type of truth about a family a dynamic that this person uh, had was going in and try to handle and deal with. And they feel like they were dealing with that situation on their own. But yeah, it's a lot of communication coming in towards you. This person feels guilty on how they handled you. And that's the reason why they feel that even even if they do come to you to tell you the truth, uh, Scorpio, that you're not going to accept that cup with the four cups. And then honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect, expect it from myself. Spirit saying right now, you already know what is what, Scorpio, especially when it deal with this situation. You know, you're the empress. So, and... And it's like, even if somebody isn't honest with you, you will already know it. And Spirit says that alone is enough justification to continue to continue something and move something out the way. Spirit, what is this honesty? Yeah, Spirit says, you already know the truth, Scorpio. You're going to be holding back from this person because you're protecting your uh, your wealth. We have 444. Four, four. You're protecting generational uh, uh, attributes of you. Like, it's like you... Whoever this person is, I feel like this person has a lot of strongholds and missed a lot of uh, things that they still have to heal from. And Scorpio, you like, I'm too far ahead. I've, I've come too far to break generational curses to, to accept you with a lot of baggage. You know, it's like... Bag lady, you can't put that shit in my in my brand new Miata, my brand new car, whatever. You feel me? You can't do it. Damn it. So right now, this person is trying to rush in because they regret moving slow or balancing out the situation before now. Woo, ain't that something? All right, Scorpios, that is your reading for right now. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a little bit. I love you. Love yourself. It's your beautiful, sexy selves. <laughs>